Hey everyone, it's Ringlord here, and today we're playing some more Oblivion! Last time, we were sent by Hannibal Traven to have a look at the Bruma Maid Skill, because if we haven't heard from them for a while, and, uh, and we also, <laughs> but before that, we learned that Manamarco had returned. Manamarco is, you know, really big, scary, um, what do you call it? Necromancer from Elder Scrolls War. Anyway, Manamarco returned, and we learned that he had attacked the Bruma Mage Guild, so we're going to inform the Archmage. And uh, in between episodes, I just went to the Pride with the Nine and dropped off some stuff, re uh, recharged the Crusader gear, all that. Please, go ahead. Yes. I'm correct. Not you, I don't want to talk to you. Looks like you're Any words from Jean? Yeah. He was the only one left? This is worse than I thought. From what he's told you, Manny Marco, the King of Worms, is here in Cyrodiil and preying on our guild. This is something I'd never have dreamed. Yeah, well. We'll need a few days to digest this new information. Task? Before we continue... Ooh. Good day. You know, I saw your fight against the Grey Prince. Nobody... Cool. Truly. You are an asset to the guild. Sweet. Be seen. Wizard's I'm so Fury. Happy to see you. I, I heard the gauntlets of Just go. What up? What can I Good you that train? You want to get better. Destruction, eh? Uh, we're already all skilled, then he can train us. Nah. Anyway, let's go and talk to Hanbal Treven. The worst possible a course of action could not be agreed upon. Others felt it appropriate to fight fire with fire. The necromancer's amulet and the... And a baby. group of mages led by Earl of Jarol. They hope to learn enough from it to find some way... I would like the helm returned, so that it may be kept safe. And the necromancer's Karanya amulet. insisted on removing it from the university. While I do not doubt that she was right, I question whether her... I fear she is not safe from the minions of the King of Worms. Help her to see that she should not... Right then. So we have a mission. Or rather two missions. We'll start with the Blumworm helmet. And that's way out in the middle of nowhere. Well, we'll go to this inn then we'll buy a Chalamet, I suppose. Chalamet! We ride! Once we've got around lots and lots of this. Now! We ride! I really like Oblivion. I mean, obviously, it's pretty old, but I still think the graphics are very nice for its time. Music's gorgeous. I also, you know, I love riding, riding at night in the dark. And it's raining and it's thundering. Very atmospheric. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, when it rains and pours and thunders and so on in real life. You're sitting inside and you got a mug of tea, a good book, blanket, you know, the whole, whole nine. That's a go see. I'm gonna save. Except, you know, playing a video game. Just getting the sound of it. Point is, it's a very calm game. Shadow me stealing some stuff. You're such a good horse. But, or perhaps she's such a good horse. I don't know. I haven't exactly looked between the legs or anything. Maybe Silas, Shadow me, you're alright. Shadow me seems to be okay. Here. Apparently, we're not supposed to go in, which seems strange to me. Okay, 
Let's try and move around the outside of the building. going in. Okay. That makes sense. Well, that ain't good. Hello? Who's there? For death. one who will destroy you, and the one who will destroy your boss. There we are. So let's check if there's any gear we can grab. Or rather, any gear we can repair. Indeed, a mace, which is lovely. So, on we go. We've clearly, this place has been attacked. Let's try and get the sneak gun on this one. For variety's sake. Let's let's go. Fight me there, well, blub. Actually, don't because I mean I assume you'd still have the magic. I would have nothing, so we have to leave it. Don't fight me there, well, but in the game I can destroy you. Actually, you're the one who should be going. Shouldn't you be the worm, considering you're a member of the worm cult? I feel like that makes more sense. Uh, supposed to be smart, these wizards. But they don't grasp simple logic. Though again, you know, if Harry Potter is to be believed, wizards don't get logic, so. Except for a few of them. Snape. And Quirrell, and all Voldemort, apparently. Old the quarrel. Yes. There we are. Sorcery potion. And what do we have in here? Nothing much, except for soul gem. That's rather nice. Of interest, anyway. Fort Telemann, Order of the Black Rose. That sounds ominous. But also in interesting. And also appears we're going in there anyway, so yeah. Interesting secret tunnel. Very cool. I don't like that. Like it all, I'm gonna save. I do not want to be murdered by that thing. What the hell is that spider date, bro? Great. This is oh. eh, I'll do advantage. Don't know why they're collaborating, but eh. they aren't they that is, don't know why they aren't collaborating. Dodge, huh? Eh, you suck. Is 
assume some of our mates may have summoned some spider daedra that got out of hand to defend themselves. Team. And some chests with gold, which is lovely. Uh, I'll take that. That's some gold. Always nice to have some gold on hand. So that's get out place. That's the get out place. You someone's no, you're just a claimant. We're going to lose fire damage, which is rather annoying, but eh, not much I can do. All my weapons have fire damage. But, uh... Clan fear! I know you went all out on the danger summon, or the summon danger, that is. Stop! And storm out. Oh no. Oh, that's not fun. Like, really not fun at all. Basically, storm after nights are my least favorite thing ever in Oblivion, with very few exceptions. Luckily, enchanted weapons are there. Please go. We fell down for whatever reason. Anyway. Let's heal ourselves. No need to worry about using all, using all these potions. I mean, we do have copious amounts from killing all of those sorcerers. Like this one. Although we didn't kill him directly. Save and off we go. Another clan fear, damn you! Heavily damage then. That's something, don't know why. Eh. Down here, the damage you so have. Oh, the spider Daedra. I don't like the spider Daedra. And they can summon other things. Of course they can. It's <sighs> nasty. They also look nasty. Really gross. Clan of here. Lovely. Yeah. Right, let's get you. Mm. And dead, almost dead. There we are. Excellent. And he's dead. That's unfortunate. Oh crap, that's a civil eye. Uh, that's not good. That would be dangerous. Oh, 
with an ebony sword. Uh, crap. See that this means the far copious amounts of potions. enemies. Right, finally got him on his own a bit. I had a charge, so I hope that we got him. And your love is dead. Bloodworm helmet. And there we are, the quest is updated. So, there we go. What do we have here? Just got the ancient statue. Anyway, out we go. And we should have killed everything, so getting out will be a piece of cake. And out of this door, and we're out. Excellent. So, return that to Hanwell Traven, pop on over to the Arcane University. Speak. Now. And it was Raven. Have you recovered either? Blood one helmet. Erlav is dead. Yes. I tried to warn him. I tried to. I shall return the helm to a secure place in the tower. Right, so that's the blood one, one helm. Now we need to find the necromancer's amulet. Uh, that's even more out in the way, middle of nowhere. Damn you! Charge the gear first. Yep, just go and recharge the sword and repair the equipment. <sighs> Sorry, it's a bit late. Sort of tired. Hail, Lord Crusader. Hail and all that jazz. I mean, it would be really cool to have. I discussed this in an early episode, which I recorded not too long ago because I pre record all the episodes. But it would be so cool have sort of interlocking quests you know in the way that you would finish some sort of quest line and you would then you know the game would acknowledge that in a larger way than oh hey you finished that quest line have the guard say something I mean you know I mean characters actually reacting and changing the things that go on in the quest based on your previous actions. So, for example, if, uh, I don't know, uh, if we played, say, let's say, so let's say we're playing Skyrim. So let's say that we just completed the, uh, I don't know, the companion quest line or something. Right, so we can look at the companion quest line. And then the Then the Dark Brotherhood is told to assassinate us. Then but then 
they realize, oh, grab that guy's the harmed you of the companions, he's clearly no joke in a fight. Maybe we shouldn't mess with him. I mean, you know, that sort of thing. That would be really cool. Or when Astrid recruits you, she could be like, fight, you can already do. Yeah, I mean, you know, just, you stole from the Dark Brotherhood and you must repay the debt, uh, debt and if you wish to be a member, you could. we could use someone with your skills. Skills implying dark skills, of course, implying the membership in the companions. I don't know. I'm not good at coming up with stuff like this, but you know, you, you get my point, you know? That'd be cool. That would be super cool. You know, like being a member of the companion being harbinger of the companions would make people realize this guy's no joke, maybe you should mess with him. Being Archmage of the College of Windhold would make people be like, okay, that guy's clever, maybe you should listen to what he's saying. Being Dark Brotherhood, well, that wouldn't be known, so that shouldn't actually impact things. But the Dark Brotherhood is known to the Thieves Guild, so that should, could perhaps, perhaps in, impact the Thieves Guild questline. I mean, yeah, that sort of thing. That would be super cool, in my opinion. But, yeah, you know, top 10 impossible things. Well, I want Mel's Scroll 6. Spriggans? What the hell is that? Ah! Spriggans Black. What the hell? Well, we have a fire sword and they're made of wood, so let's see if we can't handle this. Luckily we can also survive some stuff. Okay, where's... Will-O-Wisp, okay. those potions. There we are, and rush on through. Ah, close. Task, of course, that's always nice. Uh, best decision, bit decision I ever made getting the skeleton key. Varnstone. Not Varnstone. Welcome, Stone. Always welcome. Yeah, I have a fire sword. You're made of wood. Look at the obvious things that are going to happen. See? I kind of missed the spoot boots of Spring Hill Jack right about now. There we are, got it. Ah! Oh god. Where the hell did you come from? Why are there so many monsters in here? We were supposed to get in here. No, I'm a dumbass. Ugh. Well, at least we got some well concerns out of it. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna dis. Okay, we're gonna kill this thing and then we're gonna leave and then we're gonna go discover. Place was about to go in the next episode, and then I'm gonna end the episode, and I'm gonna go read Sean because I'm an idiot. Well, at least that's always something. <sighs> Sorry about that. But eh, got some experience for our skills, that's always something. And 
level three. I am an idiot. An idiot's what I am. I need to start using that thing in mind. I mean, I have one. Maybe I should actually use it. As long as I can recognize the fact that right-wing political parties are stupid, I think we're good. Okay, well, a lot of right-wingers. Those, those who are really right-wing, I dislike them intensely. Well, now you know my political affiliations. Internet. Come at me. Not to make this all political, but I need to fill fill space. But I mean, look at Donald Trump. The guy is an idiot, and he's really right wing. Obviously, I'm not saying all right wing is Donald Trump, but you know, I mean, also you know, Republicans. Michael Cohen is a convicted liar. Yes, I lie to protect Trump. I lied about Trump. That's what I'm convicted for. Is what. I mean, seriously? It's just... Anyway, end of politics from me. Anyway, let's go discover the sort, and then I'm going to cut off the episode, even if it might end a little early. Because to be honest, getting kind of tired. Yeah, in between episodes, I'll go recharge and then fast travel. I'll fast travel back. I'm not going to kill that thing. I'm just going to gracefully avoid it. And then I think I'm gonna want modern family or something. I mean, not product placement or advertising or anything. I just, yeah, that's good. I just, I heard it's good. Want to check it out. That's all. Please tell me I don't have to fight anything after I discover it. Uh, of course I do. Okay, some action in the last few minutes, I suppose. Okay, who's trying to kill me? Not really. Now, who are you? Just bandits? Okay. I can repair. That I can repair. That I can repair. So we'll repair it. And then I'm gonna save and end the episode. And then I'll and go back and you know recharge the old Crusader sword in between episodes. So, next time on Oblivion, we will be going into this fort and try and f uh, find this uh, amulet thing. I bet the person's dead. Anyway, so if you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like. If you want to see more videos like it, all you have to do is subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and have a very nice day. Goodbye.